Okay, right, with this problem right here, x squared plus um, 5x plus 6, okay? You're going to write that one down. Don't break that one too. Ahead. The first step you're going to do, you're going to draw a box. <laughs> that was Eric Thomas, you wanted to be in the video. Okay, the very top corner, you're going to put the first term, you're going to put your x squared. The very bottom down here, you're going to put your last term, a 6. Is it always going to be like that? Yeah, the first one always goes up here, the last one always goes at the bottom right. Okay, in these two boxes, remember we always have the x's, so it's something x. x, something x. So we'll figure out what that is in just a minute. Now, remember that quadratics ax squared plus bx plus c. A is the number in front of x squared. If there's not a number, it's a 1. 1 times 6. B is the number in front of x, which is 5. C is the number right here by itself. Okay? Always do A times C. 1 times 6 is 6. Now I need, no, not an X. I need the factors of 6. What numbers multiply together give me 6? 1 and 6, okay, and we are going to do that one. Negative 1 and negative 6, 2 and 3, negative 2 and negative 3. Now I say, though, that you don't always have to do all the factors if you can find the ones you need. You need the factors that add up together to give you the middle term. So this one is 7, that's not it. Negative 7, yeah, 2 and 3. You don't have to go through all of that if you can figure out the factors right away. So now, what? I, th I thought you were multiplying. No, well, no. You multiplied A times C. Then you find the factors and you add them together to see which one gives you that middle term. Oh. So now it's 2 and 3, so I'm going to put 2x and 3x. Once you've filled in your box, then you go and look. x squared splits up as x and x. Okay? X times what is 3X plus 3. X times what is 2X plus 2. My answer is X plus 2 times X plus 3. Remember I said to check it, you would put the original into Y1, the problem into Y1. What you think the answer is into Y2, press second graph, and you're looking for all y1 to equal y2. Okay, that's what you're looking for. Let's try another one. I get this code. Well, I hope so. I get the starting, but um, two boxes, I don't get it. Okay, so let's start with this problem here. x squared plus 8x plus 15. Draw the box. Is this what we did yesterday? No. no. Uh-uh. That was just the GCF. We haven't gotten to that part yet. That's what we're learning today. Yes. In the top left-hand box always goes x squared. Bottom right hand is 15. And then two x's on the These x, yeah, these are x's right here. No, those I don't get so you can Okay, so now, the first thing you do is go up here, and you're going to have a, well, let's go ax squared plus bx plus c. a is the number in front of x squared. There's not one, so that's the number 1. Is it always going to be x squared in that first box? No, uh -uh. it'll be, as we move on, it'll be 2x, 3x squared, and 4x squared. And it's always going to be the first, uh, first thing? What, you talking about the a? Uh, no, like, you know how Eric said, if, is it always going to be x squared? No, if it was a 2 I'll, I'll show you one next with a 2x squared. Okay? Then, um, b is 8. C is 15. All I did was label A, B, and C. A times C, 1 times 15, is 15. You need the factors of 15. I have 1 times 15, negative 1 times negative 15, 3 and 5, negative 3 and 5, negative 3 and negative 5. I need the factors that add together to give me the middle term. If I add these together, it gives me 16, 
Add these together. Negative 16. 3 and 5. There's the 8. So I'm going to put a 3 and a 5 here. Okay. Now you treat it kind of like a puzzle. Wait, you look on, at. Coach. Yes. So the, the X always goes in the bottom? Yes. Right here, you mean? Yeah. That, these always are the X's, yes. Yeah, but I mean, you have to put the 3. And no, 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 no. This could be matter. a 5 and that could be a 3. All right. Okay? Yeah. All right, gotcha. X squared. X and X is how it splits up. X times what gives you 5X? 5. X times what gives you 3X? 3. So your answer is X plus 3 times X plus 5. Now there was another one. You were asking about if we had a, something in the beginning. So if I have 2X squared, well, let's see, plus 7X plus 3. Okay? We're still going to do the same steps. You're going to draw your box. In the top left-hand corner goes the first term, 2x squared. That line and that line. Bottom over here, the last one goes in the bottom, which is a 3. Something x, something x. I don't know what those are yet. Now I need to find a, b, and c. a is the number in front of x squared. B is the number in front of X. C is the last number. Okay? A times C. 2 times 3 is 6. I need the factors of 6. 1 and 6. Negative 1, negative 6. 2 and 3. Negative 2 and negative 3. When you list the factors, the numbers, and sometimes you may not list all of them. You don't have to list all of them as long as you can find the factors that add up together to give you that middle term. It's the first one. It is the first one, and actually I don't go on from there. I leave it alone. So now I will take those factors, and I will put them in the box. A 1 and a 6. Now... 2x squared can split up as 2x and x. The problem is you don't know. The 2x, it does matter if the 2x is here or the 2x is here. So when we did yesterday the GCF, out of these two, when I go to the left, what is the GCF? 6x2. No. Does, what's the greatest common factor? It is a 2. This is the 2x right here. The x goes up above. Now, 2 times what gives me 6? 3. 3. X times what gives me 1X? One, 1. 1. My answer is 2X plus 1 times X plus 3. Go ahead and stop it. Alrighty. Mm -hmm.